the channel here at the auto shop life so Halloween's right around the corner got a couple tool pickups for this week also got some tools for the season Halloween coming up I want to show you guys what I got off the truck today a couple more online ones check it out shut up and sit down So before we dive down like we usually do, picked up a couple new flashlights from Cornwell. Tim the Tool Man, great dude. Always gotta grab something off him. Just uh, you know, genuine guy throughout. But uh, got some more flashlights. I mean, it's 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 starting to become a problem. I'll admit it. Um, you know, Lauren pretty much said it's me or the flashlights, and uh, you know, I told her, hey, well at least I'll be able to see in the dark. <laughs> no, but uh, I got some cool new stuff they had on the truck. Uh, Cobb style light reminds me of a couple other ones I've seen, you know, rebranded. I know Maco had carried one like this, the slimline design. But uh, another cool, they call this a multi function sensor headlamp. So another headlight. This one's pretty neat. It's got a pretty cool feature on it. Um, nice and bright. I want to say this one was 400 lumens. No, this one's 160 lumens, and it's also got a motion sensor on it. So the box. That's what comes in the box. You got the charger, USB, just a regular USB type, um, and then you know an elastic headband with adjustable. But what's cool about this light is some of the settings. The little button up top here, hit it to turn it on, and then obviously you could dim dim it down. It's got settings. You know, one, two. It's got a red setting, and then an SOS, I guess, flash. But what's cool about it is you turn it on, and then if you hold it. It turns it off, but then it's motion sensored. So you can turn it on and off with your hand. So you got this thing on your head, you're underneath a car, and you can't see it obviously. So instead of trying to find the button, you can just put your hand over it, you know, turn it on and off. Pretty neat little feature. You could actually see the motion sensor. Let me turn it off so we don't blind the camera here. But you can see the sensors on the side there. It's got a nice LED, you know, dim down LED in there. But uh, I thought that was a pretty cool feature. And then it obviously you can take it off the band. It's got the little hat clip on there or belt loop, wherever you want to put it. But this thing does articulate real nice. You could angle it however you like. Face it up, over, turn it. I thought that was pretty cool. Picked that one up off the Cornwall truck. It was actually by the cop light. And I got this for free. So always looking for those deals. You guys should always be looking for those deals on the tool trucks. Um, I thought it was a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet deal. And I think I got both of these for maybe under 200 bucks. Can't really remember. Not the greatest on price when it comes to prices. Some of this stuff is just impulsive buys, guys. I gotta grab them, gotta show them on the channel. But uh, this one's pretty nice. This one has the, uh, you know, basically just the slim line. It's also got the magnets on the back of it, I believe. This one charges through the bottom here. Same charger, I believe. The USB, I'm not sure why they're not switching to the USB you know, C type or the fast charge yet, but there's that. It's got the two light functions, one at the tip here, and then you hit the button again. The button's on the front there. You hit it again, and then there's the front one. This one is 400 lumens. It's what the box claims, and I'm guessing it's got all the settings. One, two, what, two settings there? So you got the top one, you hit it again, and two settings all the way high and then off. So pretty cool. And like I said, nice strong magnet on the back of it. So of course it's gonna stick, which is pretty nice. You can mount that thing underneath a car, or off a rack. Like I always do, this thing's definitely, you know, rugged enough. It's definitely rigid. And then it's got the rubber, like kind of liner all the way around it. But you could definitely tell those are some pretty solid LEDs in there. And then it also comes with, obviously, the charger in the box. And it's got a little mount. Charger does come with the plug for it. You know, most flashlights these days, you'd be lucky to get an actual plug. Usually they just send you the wire. The wire looks definitely extra long, so you're not close to the outlet wherever you're charging this thing at. And then it's got a mountable base here. So you can see at the bottom, it's got this little groove in the back, and you could just snap this on. Got a little mountable bottom, it locks in. Lock it in place. And then you also got, you know, a nice little mount like that too. You can stick it like that, and angle it kind of however you want. 
Kind of reminds me of the Astro Light, kind of then, and then tighten up the base of it. Definitely a strong magnet, though, and then it comes with a hook, too. So you got pretty much all the features, you know, of like a normal flashlight all in one. I thought this one was definitely pretty nifty. Uh, had to pick it up, had to grab it off the Cornwall truck. And I'm not actually sure here, but it looks like you might be able to mount this on this side also. I just noticed it's grooved here. You could snap it and mount it either way. So with the light facing down, the button up top, you know, hang it however you want to do it. Or fold that under, stick it to metal. And then if you want to unclip it, there's just a little clip here. You can unclip it and pull it apart. So, nice pickup through Cornwell. You guys got your Cornwell show, definitely ask them about this. Definitely a nice light. Part number on these, the headlight is CBI 4000. For the part number on buy this, get this free. The little Cobb style headlight, lamp light. And then the part number on the slim, uh, they call it a Cobb skinny rechargeable work light. We got CBI 5040. Right there. So definitely a couple great pickups. You guys know I gotta, you gotta stay strong on that flashlight game. It's it's definitely addicting. Yeah, I love using my flashlight. I do use the majority of ones. The ones that end up real good, I am I am using them as much as I can. And it's what's also nice about it is I don't have to constantly charge up flashlights. I always got one on hand, ready to go. Got some at the home, got some in the car, got some at the shop, in the box, by the workbench. You know, put them all around the shop, stick them to the rack. You always got one you know, in an arm reach away. So you can never have too many flashlights. So the next one I got was sent to me by Ulsa Tools. You know, great company. They definitely got some, some great stuff. I showed you guys those, uh, you know, one-handed reversible wrench, uh, wrench set that I had from them. Um, great stat, still using them, definitely holding up. Um, you know, I'll be trying to hit you guys with a review on those things if I get a whole lot of cons with them. But for the most part, for what they are, they've been hold, holding up pretty good. Definitely got the hang of the reversing design. You guys, uh, you guys want to check that video out, I'll try to put a link up top here if you guys want to check that one out by also. But they sent me some metric Allens. Um, these are pretty nice. It's definitely uh, definitely different, definitely something different. They got the great feature of, you know, the ball point tip so you can hit those, you know, hexes at an angle, get those Allens out on an angle. That's always a nice feature to have um, as long as they're not all rusty and all that. And you can kind of get on it and get a good amount of leverage on there. They definitely work out, especially for the smaller sizes. But you can see it comes with a nice little holder for it. The red and black, they do fold open. It's got a nine piece, comes with 10, eight, six. You got a five, four, three, two and a half, two and a one and a half. But what's where these things stand out is actually the tips of these. Try to catch this on camera. You can see the tips of these got a little extra piece of metal on there. And what they're calling these is the extractors. I haven't used these enough. Um, I could definitely see the concept in them, but they're calling them extractors. So you get, you know, one of those hex bolts that are a little bit rusty or you got some gunk inside there. It's starting to, you know, kind of flake off. The faster it's starting to flake off. Well, what this does is the corner of them kind of bites into the hex. So, you know, it'll it not, only, not only fits into the hex, but the corners of these will bite into the hex to give you that extra power to kind of break them loose. That's why they're calling them extractors. Um, I, I did try it on, I think it was a five or something like that, one of the fasteners. The fastener wasn't too tight, but I wanted to check the concept out. And, you know, thinking about it, hey, are they gonna hold up? I don't know. Might be one of those things where you get a few uses out of them and they start to wear off. And then, you know, basically that'll just start getting in your way. But for the most part, you know, the way it's set, you know, with having the sharp edge on there, it will grab a hold of the side of the fastener and pull it out if you got those stripped ones or, you know, messed up fasteners. But great tool by Ulsa. Got to give them a shout out. Thank you for sending it to me. Um, can't wait to put these to use. I'll let you guys know if these things hold up, but you can never have enough Allens either, you know. All right, guys. And before we dive down, show you guys what I got off the Snap-on truck for this week. Mostly just merchandise. Got to grab those deals where I can. But Another online pickup, went with the NOCO Genius Smart Charger. Um, this is actually my second one I've, I've bought in of this one, the uh, 1100, I believe. Yeah, G1100. You know, great, great smart charger. It's not only a trickle charger, you know, it's not only a, a battery maintainer, it's, it's a smart charger. You know, it does it all. If you guys don't know, you know, the NOCO Genius Chargers, they're great. They got the battery boosters and the jump packs and all that stuff. I personally just bought this for my motorcycle. Obviously, the cold weather coming. I brought the old one from the house here. I'm using it for something, so I figure I'd pick up a new one, use it at the house, but a lot of great features on this. I mean, some just off the top of my head from what I know. Um, and I'll try to break down the box and show you guys some shots of you know, what all entails into the box, but it's got the smart charge feature where you know, it analyzes the battery for you. So if the battery's you know, 
drain down a lot it'll go into you know deep cycle mode and you know charge it up two times faster also it's got a feature on there where you know if you've got the battery on there say you're charging a six volt battery and the power goes out you know it saves the memory so when the power comes back out it doesn't revert back to a 12 volt it'll stay on six volt continue charging your battery it's got the safe the safe charge you know it protects against reverse polarity sparks overcharging overcurrent open circuits short circuits and overheating you know all the great features on the back of the box you know i picked this thing up for just a, a few different reasons you know noco makes some great stuff um i like the rugged design of it you know how it's built you know obviously being in a dusty shop or a dirty garage a dusty garage or being out in the elements you know it definitely has what it takes to withstand it hold up so pretty much what comes in the box is you got the unit itself you can see the modes on here. It's got you know the 12 volt, the 6 volt. It's got the AGM cold. It's even got lithium mode on here. Um, you know this one is a mo older model, but you know it definitely works. Gets the job done. But you can see it's definitely rugged. It's got really long leads. You can see corner to corner here. You could actually mount this. You know you get some hardware and you got the mounting holes here and here. And then you got the long leads on the side. Here's the input for the 110. Plug it into the 110. Definitely got enough slack there. And then here's the output to the battery you'll be charging. Definitely enough. And then you got your output range, uh, 12 and a half volts DC, 1.1 amp, and then 6.3 volt DC, 1.1 amps. So, you know, definitely enough to get the job done. You can see the date on this one. It's from 2016, but definitely picked it up on a deal. These things still, still selling. I'm still using them. Like I said, this is my second one I bought, and uh, it's a great one. Also, what comes in the box, you'll have your, uh, you got two lines. You got your normal, you know, alligator clip lead, just the regular, you know, positive and negative and then it, the way it hooks up you have a nice clip design you know like I said building this thing rugged that comes with the little you know little rubber piece little trim piece to put in there to stop the water from getting in there or stop corrosion and then you could also see on the plug here it's got a little gasket seal on there and then it's got a nice little clip you click, clip them in nice seal you know waterproof connection and then that's that one and then you got your hardline one also pretty much the same thing both these leads are fused but this one's for the hard line you can go straight to the battery like I, I think I, I already have one on my bike so stick it out under the seat hook it to the battery and then pretty much just when you're done plug it in you're good to go I'll leave uh, links below the description where you guys can pick these things up on Amazon or what have you definitely a great one to check out if you're looking for a battery you know a smart charger all right guys we're gonna dive down real quick show you guys got what I picked up off the snap-on truck check it out all right, guys, just a couple small pickups off the Snap-on truck this week. Um, they came out with another, you know, plastic pry tool. Uh, they had a few of these. I don't think, I think it was last year, the beginning of the year. You know, I, I can't say they're the greatest. They definitely, uh, you know, they definitely hold up for what I use them for. You know, lately I haven't been grabbing for the other two. But uh, they got a new one now. It's definitely, you know, a smaller, more intricate pry bar set. It's a three-piece pry bar set. Um, PPBN 300 is the part number and then it's pretty much got the different sizes you got you know pretty much your 45 non-marring pry tool real small and intricate you know and then you got your I guess that would be a 90 I'm not really sure or here's the 90 and there's the 45 you know you got the small one you got a medium one here a little bit wider tips here you know I call that you know maybe the 45 and the straight in one there and then your large one here three-piece set definitely a lot wider um, these things do have individual part numbers so if and when you break them you could probably replace them you know one at a time you won't have to buy the complete set but I don't think this was I think this was like 20 bucks or something like that so was the other two sets I bought I think they had a pick set one and a uh, I don't maybe a scriber or something a non miring scriber set if I had them if I had if I had them here I'd pull them out and show you guys but nice little set I picked up from, from, from the Snap-on guy. So the next one I got is obviously for the season. Picked up a five-piece pumpkin carver set. You know, you need the tools to carve those pumpkins with the kids. So I figure I pick one up. You know, I, I, I love my Snap-on merchandise. You know, I got the knives, the forks, the plates, the ice cream scooper, the spatulas. Um, you know, so anytime, anytime they come out with one, I always try to pick it up. But this one you got comes with one scoop, three saw blades, and then an outline punch, which is a pick. So obviously you guys ever carve pumpkins, you know, you kind of carve out, poke in the holes, and then you pull off the piece of paper or the template, and then you could kind of cut out the shapes and all that stuff. But um, got the Instincts handles on there, which I also like. Um, you know, I could definitely see using other uses for these things, even after Halloween, but you got the bright orange, comes with the bright orange here, and then uh, you open them up, 
like I said, you definitely got the instinct handle, serrated blade there. That's probably the smaller one there, but it's just like the same handle. You can see the instinct handle is pretty much the same handle as the screwdrivers, and the bright orange. And then here's the, uh, this, they call this one, I guess, the scriber. It's got a little protected on there, but same instinct handle. Nice and sharp there, sharp little tip. Here's the uh, scooper, they're gonna call this one. This one is also serrated on the side, so you can kinda dig out those pumpkins. We'll have some fun with the kids. Hopefully no one gets cut. And then here's another, probably uh, smaller, more intricate blade. You can see this one probably, actually it doesn't even bend, it's pretty decent. That one's serrated also. You can see the size comparison there. A little bit smaller, maybe for around those tighter corners. And then this gotta be maybe the bigger one or the smaller one, let's see. And then here's the biggest one. So do your major cuts with this one. So a nice little five piece set. You know, they say snap on on them. I definitely dig them. One, two, three. You got the scooper and the scriber. All right, guys. So the next one I got was actually a freebie. And, uh, you know, I guess nothing comes from snap on is free. But, you know, I ended up seeing this one right before I walked off the truck, picked it up kind of gave it a look, gave the Snap-on man a look, he gave me the nod, and uh, you know, I went ahead and grabbed this, but you know, probably just because, you know, picking up the next one I'm going to show you, he kind of threw this in. So, but it says 12 ounce bottle, it's got a part number on there, and you guys can guess what this one is. Um, eat your heart out, Autobahn Dan. So maybe I'll start getting into the bottle opener collections, but this thing is, uh, you know, definitely heavy like a wrench, definitely made well. Um, so you know, it's even got the twist off ones on this side, the closed end. And then the open end, they just kind of continue with a piece of metal there, you know, pop your tops off, but pretty cool. Part number on this one is OEXBTL12, and then it says 12 ounce on there, obviously for your 12 ounce bottles. Snap on USA, 12 ounce. Pretty cool, pretty nifty, definitely dig it. Put that in the collection. And then of course, continuing on with the Snap on merchandise and memorabilia. Love to have them all. Got the, I'm not actually gonna open this one for you guys because you know this stuff I just collect. Um, I know it's a sickness, but maybe I will open it one day if uh, you know the dishes aren't done or I got a sink full of dishes and I need a cup. But partner, I'm in this one. SSX19P126 and pretty much the tin cups. And it's got all the Snap-on logos. You know, they're pretty much prepping for their 100 year anniversaries, but you know, 1923, the logo. 1944, 1950, 1981, which was one of my personal favorites, 1995, and then the 100th anniversary, which will be next year, 100 years, right behind Cornwell. But aluminum 22 ounce cups, you got a six pack signature air series, definitely dig it. These things are pretty much tin or aluminum, you know, they're calling it aluminum. I, I, I'm not sure if they're actually aluminum, but official licensed product, definitely dig it. Put that along with my, uh, my Stein cup mugs that I haven't brought home yet. You guys probably see me show these in one of the videos, but pretty soon enough I'll be able to get rid of all my uh, flatware and dishware and just replace it with all Snap-on stuff. So a pretty cool pickup from Snap-on though, but I definitely dig the, uh, the logos. That's definitely pretty cool. All the logos there over the last hundred years. Alright guys, so wrapping this one out. This week's tool haul, pretty much uh, tool haul slash merchandise off the tool trucks, a couple internet ones, a couple of tools I had to pick up because great tools got to replace them, like to have more than one. But, but real quick, we got some videos in the works here. We got a couple of uh, business side videos coming up that I've been planning. You guys uh, stay tuned to the channel if you guys are into those. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss them. Also, I want to throw a quick one out on the end of it kind of get some subscriber feedback you know what do you guys like to see you know obviously on my channel you know we do a little bit of everything obviously the auto shop life that entails you know obviously getting through these diags the cool tools the tool hauls the business side you know what the what to expect inside and out of not only being a technician slash shop owner um, but you know just pretty much the automotive field in general but you guys let me know down in the comments you know what videos you like more because I like to pertain to you guys obviously I make these videos for you guys you know I, I like to put out content that you guys like to see you know obviously I'm not going to change who I am I'm going to do videos that I like too and it has to definitely be uh, you know channel channel oriented but uh, you know I'd like to get a few more videos out there and what you guys would like to see whether it be me diagnosing these cars you know or the new guy uh, maybe his toolbox tour video that will probably be up and coming um, 
you know, working with these more higher end scan tools or, you know, what's new on those trucks. If I know everybody don't get Cornwell trucks that come to them. You know, I personally don't have a Mac or Maco truck that comes here. I did have a Maco guy, but you know, pretty much, I guess I wasn't buying enough tools off him. Plus he was kind of a douche. So, you know, not all tool trucks go to all shops. So some of you guys out there, you know, seeing these flashlights and my Cornwell pickups or my Snap-on picks up, obviously if you don't have a Snap-on rep, you're not going to see these. So I'd like to put these tool hauls out there, show you guys what I'm up to, show you guys what I've been picking up, the changes in the shop, obviously changes in my life, changes on the channel. But you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys like to see. Obviously I make these videos for the people, the subscribers, here for you guys making these videos for you guys but wrap this one up like comment make sure to subscribe check you guys in the next one signing out